how B2B marketing grows revenue. B2B marketing, business to business marketing can be an incredibly powerful revenue growth engine. But in many companies, internal factors conspire to sabotage B2B marketers' ability to grow revenue. In this video, you'll learn how B2B marketing actually grows revenue, how to structure your marketing and sales teams, and what optimizing B2B marketing around revenue growth looks like. Before we get into that, please be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell on this YouTube channel so that you can be notified when new videos like this get published. Now, in many companies, leadership's ignorance and arrogance of modern marketing best practices completely sabotages marketing professionals' ability to impact revenue growth. How so? This blockage point becomes especially problematic because of three factors. First, Gartner found that 83% of a typical B2B purchase decision, researching, comparing options, and evaluating pricing happens before a potential buyer engages with a vendor. McKinsey and company discovered that 70 to 80% of B2B decision makers now prefer to make their decisions digitally. And third, in its B2B thought leadership impact report, LinkedIn, in partnership with Edelman, concluded that Thought leadership remains critical to customer engagement, but breaking through the noise is harder than ever. In this digitally transformed world, where so much globalization, hyper-competition, commoditization, and tech-driven disruption impacts so many startups, your marketing leader needs to be on equal footing in your company with your sales leader as a peer not as an order taker, not as a gopher. And by the way, in case you're not familiar, Merriam Webster defines a gopher as an employee whose duties include running errands like a lackey. Instead, marketing can only truly help the business as a whole and architect and deliver a game-changing world-class customer experience when marketing has the autonomy and the resources to get meaningful stuff done. However, in many startups, scale-ups, and small businesses, you see a chief sales officer, a CSO, or a chief revenue officer, a CRO, but there's no chief marketing officer, there's no CMO. Just a marketing director, or a marketing manager, or if your board of directors likes to play games with title deflation as a handcuffing technique, you see a VP of sales, but there's no VP of marketing, just maybe a marketing manager or a marketing coordinator, if that or for a venture-backed Series A company where founders either despise or don't understand marketing, you end up with a chief revenue officer and a head of marketing, whatever the heck head of actually means. And that's precisely the problem. The chief revenue officer, the chief sales officer, they get a budget for scaling revenue and they determine what scraps or crumbs or leftovers get allocated for an entry level or mid-level marketing hire. And no matter how much you're pounding the table on how critical content and thought leadership is to your company's growth, the chief revenue officer or the chief sales officer demands another $50,000 for bigger and better swag and another $100,000 for a bigger booth at the trade show. Yet there's still no content manager, there's no videographer, there's no graphic designer, there's no SEO, there's no search engine optimizer, and there's no social media expert. None of those people get hired. Just make do with some ad hoc freelancers or dirt cheap gig economy workers. How is your company setting the stage for a B2B marketing to actually impact revenue growth? Or is the marketing staff just glorified order takers and sales assistants? Let me know in the comment section down there below. And you know someone else who could also benefit from watching this video on how B2B marketing grows revenue? If so, be sure to share this video with them. And if you're serious about how B2B marketing grows revenue, learn more when you enroll now in our free seven-day e-course, Go to Market Strategy 101 for B2B SaaS startups and scale-ups at gotomarket101.com. Again, that URL is gotomarket101.com.